Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of Pinup Party. I am Skipjack. I wanted to go over something really quick that Drake recently posted, and it's something near and dear to my heart for those of you who are often frustrated because you no longer have access to KXL, or as in some countries like the the Philippines and certain parts of China and other countries, you can actually play the game, but you don't have access to KXL. So again, it is a worldwide game. Everybody keep in mind that it, when you hear somebody say, well, I can't access that, don't assume they've been banned from forums or don't assume that they've been banned from a platform. It may be because of the country that they're in or the place where they're playing from. The, the game time that they may um, get may be that they're playing from a university um, Wi-Fi hotspot in a student um, kind of council run sort of game room or you know, downtime room, study room, or whatever for them to take a break from their studies. And KXL was blocked. Often Discord is blocked, but they can still play the game. So if you see someone who's posting something like that, don't assume that they're blocked from Discord. Don't assume that they're blocked from KXL. Embrace the fact that they don't have access to those platforms and they're trying to request information from you. Uh, kudos out there to the community, to those who are taking the time to go to KXL if they have access and taking screenshots of what is being shared by the team and they're actually posting on their work commander Facebook pages again for some people Facebook is blocked but getting out the information on as many platforms as possible is what's key so to players um, and community members like Cyram, uh, JB Samar um, uh, RF Akbar. Um, I'm watching some of the other, and I don't want to mention those particular sectors, but some of the sectors that you guys know me well in, and I'm welcomed in, and also welcome to be called home. I see a lot of the admins, uh, one in particular, I just want to give her a boop, elbow bump, because uh, we don't want to do boop, fist bump because of the coronavirus, although I did wash my hands several times today with soap and water. Um, just want to give her a fist bump because I, that's what she's doing is she's sharing that information. When the event notes come out, she's taking screenshots of it from KXL and she's sharing that information on her Facebook page. So again, thank you so much for those of you who are doing that. And without further ado, we're going to go over to KXL. Um, oh, by the way, um, shameless plug. I'm using Ocean Hero instead of Google for my search engine. I've done 39 searches today, which has led to 39 which equivalent of 39 bottles worth of plastic being removed from the oceans and the countries that are helping remove that plastic um, they're either paid by how much they collect or they are actually giving vouchers for their students tuition to go towards uh, universities well firstly primary school middle school private middle and high schools and then eventually on to college educations based on how much plastic that they collect from the environment whether it's in the ocean or not eventually it will make it to the ocean if it's in the environment and then from there they get vouchers and their children are allowed to go to school and with the intention of hopefully raising an entire generation of plastic awareness not just plastic that you see floating but particles that you can't see floating that are in the oceans that our fish ingest that the fish that we eat unfortunately if we do eat fish but the water that we drink the water that we swim in so shameless plug I use Ocean Hero I love it it's a little kawonky compared to Google but um, I really do love it and so far I've done enough searches and I've collected a gazillion but like I said it's only three o'clock my time and I've already done 39 plastic bottles worth so give it a try if you're interested there's a lot of information over here on how it works and you can click here and it'll explain more about how the um, program itself works it's free it's just like Google um, it's really simple to use it's pretty much as close as Google as you can get uh, occasionally there will be a few ad lines at the top as opposed to having a direct um, link at the top and um, we'll just do something so you can see what I mean NBC news so for instance sorry it'd be nice if I could actually type oh, whoops my fault we'll do a search and NBC news comes up oh this time it didn't do it sometimes when I do the um, search it'll pop an ad above this it'll be an ad for NBC news as opposed to the actual link for NBC news so again it works just like and here's some more information about the plastic and things that you can read and you can also share it 
So of course by doing NBC News I ended up going up to 40. Actually I already had a search in there so that's why I bumped over to 40. Uh, let me see if we can do something. Um, uh, let's do chocolate chip. Yeah, chocolate chip cookies. There we go. So it tells you right it just like Google does, but they're a little bit more bold about it. The first couple ones are ads. That's where they make their money. But the rest of these are just like any other searches I would get. All recipes one of my favorite place to go for any kind of recipe if I'm looking up for a recipe. So these aren't ads. But so sometimes when you do a search, the first three things will be an ad. Big deal. Scroll down and do this. You're helping the environment. Okay, enough about that. Let's go to what uh, Drake posted today. We're going to talk about the importance of filling out um, surveys. And we're not just going to call them event surveys because they put surveys up for different reasons. So I'm going to read it. Um, for those of you who are, have a hard time reading um, English, I'm getting some responses from some of our foreign speaking uh, players that have said that they appreciate when I read these out, appreciate when we read the release notes um, because they don't read in, uh, English well, but they understand it when we speak it. So this is for all of you also foreign speaking individuals who will not be able to read this because you can't read it as well as you can hear it. So it says, hey commanders, I'd want to take some time and talk with the community about the importance of filling out game surveys. From a single survey, we can gauge how the community at large feels about a new feature, what issues bother them most in game, and get suggestions on how to improve things so War Commander can continue for years to come. The more responses we have on a survey, the more accurate our assessment can be on how the community feels about the game. War Commander has thousands and thousands of players, yet the amount of players that respond to surveys is only around 1 to 2 percent of our monthly population. While that feedback is useful and welcome, such a small amount of responses makes it harder for us to determine how the community at large feels about the things in game. If players really enjoy something, the more people that respond letting us know that, the more we know to keep giving you what you like. At the same time, if a feature or event isn't what players want, the more people that let us know, the better understanding we have on that feature moving forward. Since not our players engage on the forums and Discord, surveys are potentially the most valuable tool we have in understanding what the players are feeling. Now before I go to the next sentence, if a feature or an event isn't what players want, hint, hint, those units that spawn off the screen that you can't see this event, the more people that let us know, the better understanding we have on that feature moving forward. Hint, hint, if you didn't like it this event, Make sure you put it on the survey. Okay? And again, not all players are going to engage on the forums. Not all the players are engaging on Discord. But that Matt tag, Matt tag, the M-A-T, we call it the Matt tag, M-A-T-G, message above the game. That's what it sounds, that's what it stands for. So if you hear me say, yeah, there's a Matt tag, that means there's the message above the game. Surveys are potentially the most valuable tool that they have in understanding what the players are feeling. Next sentence. Many times in the past, we've made key design decisions based on the feedback from the community. I'd like to give you some examples of where we change directions based on the responses we've seen in surveys. Again, this is Drake's voice, not mine. Well, it's my voice. Drake can't sound anything like me, even if he tried. I promise you. There we go. <laughs> Shout out to Drake. Performance issues. Because War Commander was initially made on Flash, as well as being online, performance has been a long-time concern of our players. With our regular surveys, we've been able to get feedback from players on specifically the kind of performance issues they experience. With this, we're able to target specific issues to improve the game. While we've always strived to improve performance, our surveys have allowed us to tell just how much of an impact we've had as well. With every survey we've seen over time, how we've made improvements, and that has had a huge impact on not just players, sorry, I'm trying not to sleaze, but the overall enjoyment of the game. Event-based defense message. Very rarely on Discord and, and the forums did we ever see any feedback on the base defense missions for the event. I can attest to that because I'm a moderator. For the most part, it seemed like a feature that players didn't really engage in the way we hoped. During the next few surveys, I included some questions about how players, I'll just say Drake, Drake included a few questions about how the players felt about them and if they should be taken out of the events or if they should be on their own track. 
The team was very surprised to find out that the vast majority of players not only wanted them to stay in the events, but felt very positive towards them. We went from nearly cutting them from events to making sure they still had a spot. Now, again, that's really cool. That's key because we weren't, you don't see the, I didn't see the feedback that much in Discord other than the low level players not be able, having to skip all the time. But again, that feature alone came from feedback from a survey. We used to not be able to skip defensive waves, and then they added that feature in. So you don't really see too many people talking about event service. And here, right here, they were thinking about taking the defense waves out. Drake put some questions in the survey. People answered it, and they were surprised by the answer. Event difficulty. When things are too challenging and there's too many things to do, it can make things feel like a slog. Because of the survey fee feedback, we not only made our events less difficult in general, but we also shortened the track and refined the, refined the way the payouts are done, all to make the events feel less like a grind and more exciting. There have always been times where we found that the things were just too easy. Surveys in general help us find the sweet spot for most players where things aren't too hard, but also aren't too easy. There's no challenge or strategy involved. Again, for me, that's boring. We'll even be making some bigger changes in the future to make it so lower level players are able to enjoy a whole story of a whole story of the game while higher level players will have no ways to engage to earn the new content that they want. Wow, okay, that's news to me and I'm excited about that one. There are only a few examples of how your voice has helped improve the game, making it one of the longest lasting MMORTS and that games in the game and that for those who are multiple Ah, she's a Maza. I can never remember a whole way without screwing up. Just multiple. <laughs> here, let's use Ocean Hero, okay? Morts. <laughs> Sorry. Massively multiplayer online real time strategy game. There we go. <laughs> there, we did that real time. So this is one of the longest lasting ones in the game on the market. We can only keep improving if we're able to get the level of feedback we need to get a good understanding of how the community is feeling. As such, we'll be making some changes to how we do our surveys in the future. Fewer event surveys. Typically, we've done a survey for every event, plus a health survey at the end of the month. The issue is not much changes from event to event, and we don't see the results very much because of that. To make the event surveys more impactful, we'll be having them after every event cycle, every four events. This will allow us to get a better idea of how players felt about the design of the event cycle so we can iterate changes and, and change ideas if needed for the future. We will, of course, be monitoring forums, Discord, and tickets for how you feel between event surveys. But one survey every four events will be the major place to have your voice heard regarding events. Again, make note of that. Even I didn't know. Somebody grabbed me on Discord. Thank you so much to that player. I don't want to mention his name, but somebody grabbed me on Discord. I made a comment to another player about the event survey, and he said, go back and reread what Drake just posted. And I was like, whoopsie, so I had to go back and change my comment in Discord. Even I'm so used to calling them event surveys, and I'm so used to them being out like right before the event ends or right as the event ends. So... Again, just like a little bit of a change, and here they're going to continue to make changes. Shorter event surveys. Many questions we've often included in the event surveys are redundant to the questions that we have in the monthly health surveys, as such, meaning health of the game. As such, to make sure that each survey is to the point and doesn't repeat something asked prior, we will be making these a bit shorter, making them much easier and faster to compete. We know people don't always have the time to fill out the surveys, but nothing would please us more and help improve the game than getting as many players as possible to fill out our surveys. If you love War Commander as much as we do and want to help guide the direction of the game, please take the time to let us know your thoughts. Now, I'm not kissing Kicksai's ass on this one, honestly. Drake is my community manager, and uh, yeah, I answer to him as a moderator, but as a player, this is great. This is awesome to me because this is what we talk about, constructive information. So instead of him saying, hey, you need to fill them out, and this is why. Not only does he say, hey, this is, you need to fill them out. He explains about things that they could have done, and without players' feedback, they could have done something and changed it without 
even knowing about it. And can you imagine the ranting and raving if they had taken the defensive waves out? So this is what we call constructive information or constructive criticism. If you have something that you want to say and you want to share with someone, even if you're ranting, be frustrated, be pissed off, say whatever it is that you have to say, and then back it up with, with information. That's what Drake has done here. He's not saying, I said, fill out the dang surveys. Okay, he's not saying that. He's saying, you know, here's the importance of them. We'd really like you to participate, and here's why. And oh, by the way, when you did participate, this is what the changes that we made. That's what we're talking about, constructive criticism or constructive feedback. So when you hear me say constructive feedback, when you hear the other moderator say, that's okay, it's okay to be frustrated, it's okay to give your feedback, but make it constructive. This is constructive feedback. This is how you should help to give the team your information. And I also noticed some information today on Discord as soon as this went out. There were several people, but one in particular that said, that they don't like to use fill out surveys or use survey monkey because you have to agree to their privacy policies now it may have been a joke for that person i'm not 100 percent sure and i'm not going to say that player's name it could have been a joke maybe it wasn't but i do, do know some of you are worried about those kinds of things for privacy reasons and i get it i totally understand it maybe you don't want those cookies on your computer maybe you don't clean your cookies in cash and that cookie's going to be there for a while maybe you don't want to get like little pop-ups or something from survey monkey Hey, if you're interested in that survey, have this one. That doesn't happen with Kixi surveys, but I hear what you're saying. Even if you don't want to do the survey, encourage your alliance leader to post the survey on your Facebook page. Don't post it on Discord. Don't post it all over the place Definitely without the answers, but post the questions. And I see some of the admins of sectors doing it now. Post the questions. If you don't feel comfortable going to SurveyMonkey, if SurveyMonkey is blocked, where you're trying to fill the survey out from, like if you're at work, or if you're a student, or if you're at a university, or if you're in a library, if it's blocked and you can't use SurveyMonkey, take those questions from someone else who's filled out the survey, type them up, send them to a moderator send it to a team member say hey by the way I saw the questions on the survey um, the rest everything was spot on but I'd really like to give my answer on this one question Kixi will take the information any way they can get it and if you don't feel comfortable using the actual survey link and survey monkey then take those questions from someone else not their answers find out what the questions are and encourage alliance leaders and sector page leaders to take the survey questions if you have time to do that uh, for those of you like JB Samar and some of the other players out there that are doing that where you're taking pictures of the release notes and you're taking pictures of the units and you're taking pictures of things that are posted in the forums I encourage you to also do that with your survey post those questions or if you have to just cut and paste the questions here's the list of the 10 questions that Kixi asked in their survey yeah you're gonna get people that are comment say ah, I never fill those things out you're going to get the negative nans nowhere, no matter where you go. There's always somebody out there that's got their panties in a wad and hasn't got laid. That's just my take on it. Or they're really, really hungry or they need to take a poop. So those people are just miserable anyway. And they're not happy unless they're making everybody else miserable or they're expressing their miserableness. You know, my answer to that is um, go find somebody, get laid, have them make you a sandwich and eat an apple and eventually you'll poop. Okay, then you'll be happy like the rest of us. This is uh, Skipjack with another edition of Pin Up Party, and I hope you enjoy. Go fill out those surveys. You guys take care and have a wonderful day. Love all of you, even the ones that don't love me back.